Look, man, you can call me crazy, call me greedy, call me delusion, whatever you want to say. I don't care because I want this to happen. The Baltimore Ravens need to make this happen. They need to take full advantage of this situation. Let's read. Brandon Ayuk and the 49ers have not, not intensified contract talks amid trade buzz. So he's still a 49er. Yes, technically, yeah, but. Ain't been no contract talk. Ravens, look. <laughs> anyway, let's read the article. It says, negotiations between the San Francisco 49ers and wide receiver Brandon Ayuk have not yet intensified to the point of two sides being close to getting a deal done. So they fall apart. They fall apart. And that's a beautiful thing. I like that. It says, ESPN's Jeremy Fowler reported the latest on SportsCenter on Saturday. So Brandon Ayuk's the big one, Fowler said. We know what the receiver market is now. It's looking at probably 30 mil and above. And Ayuk's considered a top 10 receiver now at this point by most in the league. Now, that part right there is debatable. I'll let you figure that out. If you feel like he's a top 10 receiver, you can put it in the comment section. If you feel like he will be a receiver that will make the Ravens a whole lot better, you put that in the comment section. That's what I really want to see. Even though I already know the answer. I didn't know what to answer, but anyway, continuing. He says, uh, so both sides have had negotiations. Yes, that's what happened in contract talks. Uh, but it hasn't really graduated to something where it's going to get done and it's intensified. So they got the next six weeks over the summer before training camp to try and get it done. Or he might not show up based on him not showing up to minicamp as a precedent. Ayuk is playing out his rookie deal after the 49ers picked up his fifth-year option. The 26-year-old is coming off his best season as a pro after catching 75 passes for 1,342 yards and seven touchdowns. Oh, that's, that's some production right there. Oh, my goodness. We don't even need to go any further. We already talked about how good Brandon Ayuk could be for the Baltimore Ravens, how good of a fit he could be for the Baltimore Ravens, how he would give them that proven number one guy. And then you, you, you think about Brandon Ayuk. And then alongside of Zay Flowers. And we ain't trying to get rid of Bateman still. Alongside Bateman, too. Nelson Aguilar's there as well. Like, then we got Taz Walker. Like, look. If Ravens made this move, they, they could do some stuff now, man. And, and again, without Brandon and you, Ravens, come, they could make some noise. But with him, ooh, they will be a whole lot louder. Now, I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, one, we got enough wide receivers. Well, hey, you could have another one. And again, if you added somebody like him, the quality of your wide receivers would be that much better. Now, I know you want to talk about money. I get it. I, I get it. Like Ravens, they got like what, about six million cap space right now. This is what you do. My opinion, not yours. It's mine. Um, if you traded for Brandon Ayuk, because I know people think, no, we're not going to pay no receiver, no $30 million, man. They probably won't. They could. And it's doable. It's even doable to pay multiple receivers a whole lot of money. Look at the Miami Dolphins. Well, they ain't paid two yet, though. But look at the look at the Eagles. Eagles. They just just paid AJ Brown again, and they just paid Devontae Smith. So it's do. And you know, Eagles. They stay making moves. So it's doable. But anyway, we ain't talking about. We ain't even talking about thirty million. What the Baltimore Ravens could do. They could acquire Brandon Ayuk, give up whatever picks, second round, second and a fourth round, second and a fourth and fifth, or whatever. Give up the picks to acquire Brandon Ayuk, and then you give him a little pay. Say, friend, you don't want to pay him $30 million a year. Okay. You give him a pay raise for this year. Give him a nice little bump in his pay this year. Because think about this. If he signs a contract extension... His salary for this year is going to stay the same. Well, he would get a big signing bonus, though, if he signed a contract extension. So that might be a little different. But you give him a pay raise for this year. Say, Brandon Ayuk, look, we ain't going to pay you right now. Because, again, I know my Ravens. You know our Ravens. We know our Ravens. They ain't going to pay no receiver no crazy amount of money like that. Like that. They ain't going to pay no receiver. Yeah. But they could give him a raise. Give him a significant raise. Say, oh, look, Ayuk, this could benefit you in a big way. Because, and look, we won't even tag you. You could sign him to a contract adjustment to where you give him a pay raise and then he can't be franchise tagged. So you, tr but the, the compensation that you would give up for him, it couldn't be nothing crazy. If you traded a first round pick for him, then you better sign him to a long term extension. But if it was like a second, if it was, especially if it was a third and change, oh my goodness, yeah, no, yeah. Go ahead, do your, 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 your no tag clause in your, in your contract. But anyway, you rework his contract, re you rework this year, and you give him a significant pay raise and be like, look, we won't tag you next year. So after this, you'll be a free agent. You'll be a free agent. But now 
You've already shown what you could do with the 49ers, and it's been great. You were fantastic over there. But now to increase your money even more, to increase your value even more, Mr. Ayuk, you can show what you can do in our system. So show that you can you can work multiple systems because you're just that good. Excuse me, sir. You're just that great of a receiver. And let's make it happen. Let's make it work. Oh, wow. We trying to get to where your boys, they couldn't finish at that being a Super Bowl. I mean, we, we ain't really got much room to talk. We couldn't even get to the Super Bowl. Even with the best team in the league, we couldn't get there. But that's another conversation. But with you, if you come to our roster, then you could help us possibly get back to being the best team in the league. Like, look, and, and you got to sell them, man. But you got to sell them on truth. You ain't even got to tell no lies to them. You'll be like, look, Brandon. We pretty much set across the board. Yeah, we could use some more depth here and there, but when you really think about it, we are pretty set across the board. Our offensive line, we're going to work that out. That's going to work itself out. We got plenty of competition. We may bring in some more competition, but that's going to work itself out. But at quarterback, hello, two-time MVP, 99 out of 100 votes for his two MVPs. Like that, And there was the one person that didn't vote for him for his second MVP was just a hater. That's it. Like, you can tell him like that, like... So that's the quarterback we set. And, I mean, you, you got to see Lamar Jackson up close and personal last year on December 25th. So you know what he's all about. But then running back, hello, Derrick Henry. What's up, baby? Derrick Henry. And leading the way for Derrick Henry is Pat Ricard. So, like, that running game is going to be right. And then we're going to have Keaton Mitchell coming back in a couple Ooh. But anyway, then that receiver, that's where you come in. We got to Zay Flowers. You know that boy Zay Flowers could play. And, I mean, he, he wasn't afraid to show you when we played 49ers last year. So, you got to see that up close and personal, too. But then we got Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman, we're we, we we working with him. And we're working on him. We're we going we to get it. This is going to be the year. But you could help unlock it even more. You could help open things up for him even more. But he could help open things up for you, vice versa. Then we got Nelson Aguilar. Then we got Tez Walker. We got some of the young boys in there. So, that's our receiver room. Then our tight ends. Woo! The, the best tight end, like, George Kittle's cool. You was with George Kittle last year. But imagine being with both Mark, and, Mark Andrews and Isaiah, like, ooh spoiled, spoiled. And that's just our offense. Those are just the starters. We, we didn't even talk much about depth, but those are just the starters. Like, so, again, offense pretty much across the board is set. Offensive line, the biggest question right now. Then you go to defense. Hey, that, that dude met a BK, who we, who we just paid, by the way. 13 sacks last year. So the more opportunity he got over the course of his career, he's just been improving more and more. We also got Michael Pierce. He ain't no slouch. Then we got Travis Jones. A lot of people sleeping on Travis Jones. Who? Travis Jones. That's who? Our inside linebacker. Y'all have Fred Warner over there. We got Roquan Smith over here. They like 1A, 1B. Well, they like really 1, 2. Fred Warner. I, I feel like Fred Warner just a notch. Just a notch. Uh, above Roquan Smith But that's, that's not a slight to Roquan at all Fred Warner just like that Roquan Smith is like that too But Fred Warner is just a little more like that But anyway We got Ro And he's nice Next to him Trent Simpson You, I mean Just go to the week 18 game From last year against the Steelers And see Trent Simpson in action And he's going to be doing a lot more Imagine, imagine that game But over the course of an, an entire season Now a pass rush <laughs> Got a little question marks at our pass right so again, Like I told you, we can use some more depth. We got Calvin Noy. We got Adafi Away. We got David Ajabo. So we, we, we got some young. We got Tavis Robinson. So we uh we drafted a decent Isaac. We, 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 that's a work in progress. So we'll see how it goes. But that's really a big question mark, too, right now. Did I mention Calvin Noy as well? I think I did, but either way. But a cornerback, as our secondary, like, look, pick your poison. Marlon Humphrey, healthy Marlon Humphrey, Brandon Stevens, like Arthur Millette. We just drafted Nate Wiggins and TJ Tampa. Oh, my goodness. To just how, how much everybody can do is amazing. Then we got Marcus Williams, who when he's healthy, oh, that boy's on point. But And then, <laughs> you know, you know about number 14. I ain't even got to say his name. But that's super duper Kyle. I'm going to say his name anyway because he deserves the respect. So, anyway, my point is, then we got the best kick in the league. We got a punter who been coming on strong. Like, we Look, our team is, we pretty sad. We pretty nice overall. Again, we just need some more depth in a couple areas. One of those areas, in my opinion, as this armchair GM that I am, one of those areas where you, we could use some depth is at pass rush. Another one, in my opinion, it's just my opinion. It's not yours, it's mine, is at wide receiver. 
that's where Brandon Ayuk fits in perfectly.